Hi guys, Brand here, and welcome to what is probably going to be a very, very long video today. I'm going to be making two of these, uh, a review for Emily and Romulus that is uh, spoiler free, which is today's, and then I'll be making tomorrow's, which is going to be a spoiler review where I go into the nitty gritty details that you don't want spoiled if you have not seen the movie yet. I just saw Emily and Romulus. I got out like an hour or two ago, and to put it shortly, it's a very, very fun and very, very solid movie that I think even if you're not an intense alien fan that you're going to get a lot of enjoyment out of for a lot of different reasons but let's go ahead and start talking about it so first off i want to talk about our main protagonists that were shown off in the trailer that being rain and andy and they are solid characters that you will root for andy in particular is a very very sympathetic character that uh inverts a trope that is pretty common inside the alien franchise and makes somebody very very sympathetic and easy to care for and throughout the film you really do root for him and want the best for his outcome uh unfortunately there's a lot of stuff that tries to get in the way of that and even the people that seem to have a good interest in andy's future uh things sometimes come into question and that uh and the tension of how that is going to end uh, really pulls on your heartstrings and you're invested from start to finish of the film. And that includes the uh, sister of Andy and the main character, that being Rain, who is kind of almost our vehicle at which we experience the <laughs> the sympathy and trying to take care of Andy as much as possible, trying to keep the boy out of harm, which is funny because uh, at least if you're going by the actor's ages, Andy is a lot older than Rain, but hey, <laughs> but like they, they protect each other and they look after each other and it, Rain is a good Good character that you do invest in i i think a lot of people are going to obviously in the franchise that she's in uh try to compare it directly to ripley um i feel like as she goes throughout the movie she starts showing a lot of what is more expected out of an alien uh protagonist uh but and she does have a slow growth so expect that going in you're not going to get like the the badass the moment you you know tune in <laughs> it takes a while to get there and i think good character growth takes a while so that's totally fine the one thing I also wanted to talk about, speaking of uh, cast, they're all very, very young. They're all either like my age to like modern college age people right now, like an average college student. Uh, so there's like that kind of helps because there's a, a plausible deniability for when the characters end up making silly and dumb decisions. It's because they're young. They kind of don't know any better yet. Uh, and there are some negative caveats that come with that, but I kind of want to get more into that into the spoiler review because I there's some stuff I want to touch on in particular that I think also stems from that. But it does, uh, unlike, you know, Prometheus where we had scientists making very uh, puzzling decisions when they should absolutely know better uh, when people make bad decisions in Romulus it's like oh well they're they're kids so that's why <laughs> And continuing on that subject, not specifically the crew, but the characters they portray, I think one of the few negatives about this movie is I really didn't care for the rest of the crew. Uh, <laughs> I didn't really know their names or their relationships until about like halfway through the movie. And even on the ride home where I was talking about it with Liz, I was like, oh, well, this character's related to this character. And she goes, no, that's that's not what it was. And I was like, oh, OK, uh, I, I had a hard time placing their names and who they were and who they were related to. And I they, they do have this general like found family thing, which I thought was a really good thing to easily identify with um but i also like even the characters that do have backstories like bjorn i think his name is the the douche tuber looking guy like it, it i just i'm not they're pretty forgettable and i'm not really interested in them it's kind of clear that some characters are just there just to perish and it it, it really like it, it just makes you kind of clock out uh, the uh, I wouldn't say the lack of effort but kind of like the lack of fleshing out of some of the side characters um so when they end up, you know, when bad things end up happening to certain characters, I don't end up missing them because I didn't really get attached to them to begin with. So it's just one of the few things that I actually do say probably wasn't the best about the movie. There are also some surprise returns, more than one, actually, which is not something I think I would ever be able to say for an alien franchise, but they do make it work. Uh, one of them is my favorite. It's not the one that you think. So, yeah, make sure you tune into the spoiler review tomorrow. Of course, we're going to have to talk about the big man in the room, the, the xenomorph, the, the main star here. It is called Alien Romulus, not Rain Romulus or Andy Romulus, even though those characters are great. Um, th the cool thing about this is there's not really a giant emphasis on the xenomorph themselves. There's actually a bigger emphasis on the growth cycle of the xenomorph, either fully, fully utilizing forms that have pre-existed and trying to get the most out of them, or actually fleshing out some of the lesser known uh, steps in the Zemorph's growth cycle, which is kind of interesting, and I liked that it was mostly, you know, an alien movie that showcased the alien in all of its forms. Look at that. I think one of the things that actually concerned me going into this movie was just based on some of the trailers I had seen. There seemed to be a little bit of nostalgia bait going on with some very, very on the nose callback scenes. But aside from a couple of specific lines, most of the scenes that were there 
uh, that were callbacks were contextualized in a really, really good way that either advanced the lore or advanced the plot. And there's only a couple of times where you're like, okay, you're only saying that because that's the line from Aliens or something like that. Uh, but otherwise, the nostalgia, quote unquote, nostalgia bait, it's kind of like the bug that has bitten most Hollywood movies these days. Uh, it was pretty, pretty tame here, even though they did dip into it here and there. One cool thing I liked a lot was the Romulus ship itself. Like the design was really, really neat. I think it was a good mix between kind of like the alien aesthetic and the aliens aesthetic, because I feel like the, uh, overall this movie is trying to really make a movie that fits in the entire universe. So Prometheus Covenant, the prequels, is trying to make one that fits in the original trilogy. It's trying to make a film that really feels like it's in the universe and accounting for all the universe's own different kind of like takes <laughs> on the lore and aesthetic and atmosphere. But I feel like the ship was kind of like a perfect mishmash of all those things and fit every aesthetic pretty perfectly. And it created a really nice atmosphere. If it weren't crawling with Xeomorphs and facehuggers, I'd probably want to hang out here and just kind of like, you know, a la Alien Isolation, walk around and like play a game in here because it just it was just cool. It was just well designed. So pretty neat. Also, this is something that I'm going to really pipe off about in the spoiler review. The final act is actually insane, and I'm not exaggerating for the sake of content, because I know that's a thing that uh, I, even I'm guilty of a lot. It's kind of blowing things, like, way up, so it's more exciting, but, like, literally the final act is insane. Like, I thought we were going to go into this film with, like, a, you know, a very safe back-to-basic, because they kept saying that a lot in the, the promotion material. It's a back-to-basic it's a back to basic movie, um, and for the most part, it is. And the final act's like, hey, why don't we just, like, destroy your brain and actually freak you out and it did i have not been uncomfortable in a theater in quite a long time and i mostly when i'm going to see movies in the theater it's mostly horror movies i don't really go to see like the big marvel movies anymore because they're kind of like formulaic but that's a whole nother video <laughs> that i will not make but yeah it's been a while since like a horror movies actually scared me even in the theaters but that there was a, there's a specific scene that i'll talk about in the spoiler review that like it was only on screen for like two seconds but it like i'm gonna have nightmares <laughs> it freaked me out and it, it's like a, a totally out of left field uh final act and it's really really good it's really really good and it brings out the best of the whole film it brings out the best of the characters it's it, it's a, they stick the landing so to speak they stick the landing it's really really good so even if like the stuff that you have seen so far, like the trailers and stuff doesn't interest you. They've been done actually a really good job of not having like basically any of the final act spoiled and you should absolutely stick through at least just to see that because I would love to talk with you about your, <laughs> your experiences seeing the thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, the final act is pretty wild and I would just recommend the movie just based off of that. Overall, if, you, if you're looking for like how I feel about the movie, do I recommend seeing it? Absolutely, I do recommend seeing it. Uh, for looking for like a number ranking, I feel like a nine out of ten if you like the alien franchise probably an eight out of ten if you don't like the alien franchise because a lot of what you know a lot of the the beats are like hey this is from alien one or hey this is a, a nod to the prequels like there's there's a lot there's a lot of just like alien fan service here which you may just lose out on if you just have not watched these movies um so that's that, that is what it is it's what the movie was made for it was to be an, an alien movie first and foremost and not like a general movie last so yeah, that's totally fine, and I definitely recommend seeing it, but uh, I am making a spoiler review that'll come out tomorrow, so I, I would definitely like to <laughs> rant about the, the very specific things that I had to experience in this film. Um, so yeah, that's coming in the Tomorrow Zone. Also, speaking of alien stuff, uh, we have a tail tack hoodie that is like vaguely in the background here. So if you're looking for, a, you're in the alien mood, you want alien stuff, we actually have a vaguely alien uh merch thing going on we have stickers shirts with that design on it it's pretty neat it's pretty cool i also got my bucket that's another thing i was afraid i was not gonna get that thing i got that alien bucket which is funny because it's the protomorph not like the xenomorph from this movie so weird i don't know why that is but it's interesting hi editing brand here um just just to make this evidently clear this is the spoiler free review so i want to keep it spoiler free if you put a spoiler down there in the comments below i will be hiding that and deleting that whatever you want to refer to it as because we want to keep this spoiler free this is mostly for people that are interested how you know somebody who likes alien feels about the movie or if you're interested in seeing it and you want to know what it's like going in without having the specifics spoiled that's what this is for so tomorrow is the spoiler video so reserve that for tomorrow anyways yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow in the spoiler review but if i do not i will see you when i see you goodbye